So now the next is on quantitative estimation of oxygen in organic compound. So what is the best or the most common indirect method to find out the percentage of oxygen in organic compound is? Because we have find out all the percentage of other elements. So it is 100% minus some of the percentage of all other element in organic compound. So all other percentages are given, add it, sum it and 100 minus all other elements is called percentage of oxygen. So this is the easiest method but we can also find out by other method the percentage of oxygen in organic compound and they are referred as direct method. One of the direct method is what? First take the M amount of organic compound and it is strongly heated to cause decomposition of organic compound in a stream of nitrogen gas. So it is strongly heated and it is heated because uh, we want to decompose this organic compound in a stream of nitrogen gas. Now after decomposition what is obtained? Oxygen plus mixture of other gaseous substance obtained. Now, when this mixture of other gaseous substance along with oxygen is passed over a red hot cock, the temperature of that red hot cock is 1373. Now, what is the importance of this red hot cock? It will react with oxygen and convert all oxygen present in a mixture into carbon monoxide. Now this carbon monoxide then detected by passing through a warm I2O5 that is iodine pentoxide. This carbon monoxide then react with iodine pentoxide and converts into I2 plus CO2. Now we have already measured CO2 so CO2 measured is suppose M1 gram. Now we indirectly measure oxygen by measuring the CO2. Now this is the reaction the carbon which is present in organic compound uh, oxygen which is present in organic compound when coming to the gaseous mixture is, it is reacted with and hot red hot cock converted into carbon monoxide this carbon monoxide then react with I2O5 converted into I2 plus CO2 now when we balance this reaction and add it we will get now 5 multiplied with 2 or 5 multiplied with O2 and 5 multiplied with Two carbon so it is 10 co 10 c plus 5 o2 plus 10 carbon monoxide likewise when 2 multiplied with it it is 2 this one is 10 this is 2 and this is 10 now if we add it carbon monoxide to carbon monoxide is cancelled according to the balanced equation we will get 5 moles of oxygen gives 10 moles of co2 5 moles of oxygen gives 10 moles of CO2 means the 1 mole of oxygen gives 2 moles of CO2. So if the oxygen which is coming from organic compound is reacted, it forms the 2 moles of CO2. Now, because 32 gram of oxygen forms 88 gram of CO2. So 1 gram forms 32 divided by 88 and therefore M1 gram oxygen if present in organic compound it forms this much amount of CO2. Clear? So, 32 gram of oxygen forms 88 gram of this. So, uh, in this case, uh, we have to reverse it because we have to find out the amount of oxygen. So, in this case, we can write it as a 88 grams of CO2 is formed from 32 gram of oxygen means if CO2 is 88 grams it contains 32 grams of oxygen therefore 1 gram of CO2 contain 32 divided by 88 grams of O2 and therefore M1 gram of CO2 if formed contain this much amount of O2. Now this is the amount of O2 which is actually coming from organic compound. Suppose the mass of organic compound is S. Now how we can calculate it? Percentage equals to 32. This is 32 divided by 88 into M1. This is the mass of oxygen which is present divided by the mass of organic compound multiplied with 100. So this is the method or we can also find out by 
measuring iodine so there are two methods either by measuring co2 or either by measuring iodine we can find out the amount of oxygen present in organic compound directly thank you